So I went down to the yard, picked up the trailer, I'm gonna head off now and get the sofa. As well, my phone has decided it would stop recording audio, the microphone is gone on it, so we'll see now if we can repair that as well. I kinda need that for my line of work. Here we have now the sofa loaded up. So here's the sofa in place. It's about half four now and the only thing I've done all day is edit yesterday's video and sort out this couch. While I have the trailer attached to the car, I think I'm just gonna head up home and see if I can bring down some more bits and pieces down to this place. Here's a quick tour of the old place. 90% of the videos that got me started were filmed right there. I used these lights, just flick them on there, for my lighting. And I used to work right down here and leave my phone up against that wall. So there's a load of slabs here, most of them are two or three inches thick. I'm just going to get this kind of air, it's roughly about an inch thick before I feed it through the planer. Uh, it's also incredibly long, so we're going to be spending a bit of time cutting that to length and jointing it, I reckon. It's raining very bad at the moment. We're supposed to be doing a bit of stone walling, but it's just absolutely dripping. Yeah, I assumed our bets were off with the rain. So here we have all the planks before they've been jointed or thickness or anything like that. So here the planks haven't been mostly machined. There's still a few low spots, but I'm going to handle them with the hand plane. Pretty happy with it, it's nice enough, clean oak, a little bit of sapwood here and there, but once we have it oil, sanded, and we're actually using it, we probably won't see too many of them imperfections. So I got an 80 litre bin as well this morning for the place, just to throw in our rubbish and our off guts and whatever else. We're going to have to take it home to throw it away, but uh, at least it'll keep everything nice and tidy. We're also going to start work on that table today, so as you saw I spent all the morning milling up those planks down in Mark's yard. I'm going to see now if I can use my hand planes just to joint all of them together and glue them up for the next 24 hours and then we'll see if we can smooth it all nice and level. So since we were last vlogging not a whole lot has changed, obviously the sofa's in place now, put them saws up there. I hung that over the door which I think looks kind of nice. I'm over here at the hand tool station using my standing number 7 here just to plane them boards so that there's a nice proper tight joint between them. There's a gap there now but once you clamp them all together with glue, that disappear. So I bring the boards up to the vise here, take a good long look at them to see if I can figure out which way the grain is running. Once I have them locked in then, I grab my number 7 here. Now, just use a quick bit of lubricant on the sole to make it perform a bit better. And then, obviously I start at the end usually, but seeing as we're on camera, we just run it along and see if we can get a nice shaving the full length of it. Than that. So there we go, you want a big long shaving, the width of the board, the whole way along, and then I have this little 6 inch square here that I use on the side just to make sure it's dead square. These are a handy little yoke, the starish 6 inch squares. I was looking for a measuring tape all morning and there it was hiding behind the ice. Alright, we'll rinse out the old cup there with a bit of steam. The minute it's time for the glue up. Man. 
So there it is now all glued up. I'll be the very first to admit that it is a very hatchet job altogether. Uh, you can see there now there's plenty gaps and yeah I'm going to be spending a lot of time planing this once it's done. But it doesn't need to be a fine piece of furniture. It's just going to go right there and it'll be a table I can sit at and edit my videos when there's a workbench over there where I do it now. I'm also filming a TikTok at the moment of me restoring this very blunt draw knife here. One of the handles has just fully popped out. The other is locked in place here, so I need to get a file or a hacksaw or something to get rid of that. Here's my grandfather's hacksaw. So we'll use that to remove it. First I gotta fire up the camera there on my phone so I can film it. Now the other handle has this in place. Now the other handle has this little thing down here locking it in place. So I've pulled out this here hacksaw that I'm gonna use to cut it off. So I have the back flattened and I sharpened the edge and uh, pretty happy with how she cuts. We'll see there now, take her up to my shins here and she will just shave a good clean cut of hair the whole way down. Apparently that's a good test of edges. Um, I know as well people like to slice through paper but I think yeah, if it can shave hair off my body it's definitely sharp enough to use on a shave horse to cut bits of wood. Now it's time to do the handles. So I'm after turning this, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, you can see there now the hand goes here, the thumb goes here. I try to do it as symmetrical as possible. Now, just a piece of 40 grit sandpaper here. And I'm using that to kind of smooth everything out. So we're here at the driveway, just outside the workshop. This morning, we're gonna be taking down this dry stone wall here and seeing if we can build it up to level height the whole way along. We're starting by removing some of the stones that are already there. So now that we have most of the stone we want removed, removed, we're just shoveling up all the earth and soil that's after falling down, just back up onto the bank. So to get rid of that like bump that was there, we've taken it all the way down. I'm just finding big stones now that we can use in the very bottom here. This fella's sizable enough, we'll see now. Will he go in here? Mm, no. Here's another uh, big fat boy here now. We can slot him in maybe. Okay, I see him fitting now. Maybe not. Cool, so I have all the foundation at the very back put down now. So to pack that up, I'm just knocking down some stones from above. Get a bit of that soil there, whatever else. Now you kind of want all your stones kind of sloping inwards, just a small bit. If they're sloping outwards, it'll just mean the stones on top will also kind of slide down them. So yeah, you just want to be a bit careful, take your time picking out the stones. This fella here is nice. He might go nicely here now if I can find a thin fella to slot in there. Oh yeah, there, that's, that's, that's the step. Oh yeah, perfect fit. It's another fella, perfect spot from there now. If I can find another fella to go in here, keep him up. So when all the stones are nicely arranged on the floor, it makes it very easy to pick out the right stone for the job. Yeah, we leave you here for now maybe. Here's a big long fella, he might fit. There we go, that's not so bad. Just to fill in the gaps behind our stones. The wall's making its way up nicely. I've struck a line there about 55 inches off the ground the whole way along. So that will give us something to work towards. So we're getting to the end of the day, getting to the top of our wall here as well. Uh, Mikey's gone home, but uh, we've pretty much struck an almost level height the whole way across. It's a bit tricky towards the end, uh, the smaller stones, but uh, I think we're doing all right. So 
So there we go lads, that's the section right there that we got completed today that we get to enjoy looking at every single time we drive down this driveway into our new workshop down there. Still, that section over there that we have some other day to do, but uh, for now, pretty happy with that. This vlog has been going on for a few days and hasn't really gone anywhere, so I'm going to end it here on that wall note. I realize I haven't shown you guys the draw knife in its completed form either, but here it is. Very, very happy with it all together. Cuts wood even better than it cuts hair. Right, sound for watching and good luck. I'm going to chill out on the new couch now and edit a video.